Hi, thanks for sending your question. The first step that I am going to do to evaluate this improper integral is I'm going to pretend like I was just given an indefinite integral and I'm going to evaluate that first. So if we were just given an indefinite integral, this would be a candidate for a u substitution. So let's go ahead and let u equal x squared plus 3. So that way du equals 2x dx and dx equals du over 2x. Let's go ahead and put this integral in terms of u. If we put everything in terms of u, it looks like we get 1 half. The x terms are going to go away. And we're going to have a u squared on the bottom. And we will be integrating with respect to u. Um, this, of course, is equivalent to the integral 1 half u to the negative 2 du, which is very, very easy to integrate. Um, let's go ahead and add 1 to this term up here so that we get negative one-half um, times u to the negative one. Um, so I'll put u on the bottom, and that of course gets a plus c. Let me go ahead and put that back in terms of x now. So we have negative one over two. x was set equal to x squared plus three plus c. So we're going to go ahead and take this evaluated integral up here and we are going to take a limit of it. So I'm going to let A um, represent my lower bound of integration and B represent my upper bound of integration. So that this is actually the limit as A goes to negative infinity and B goes to positive infinity of my evaluated integral, I can drop the plus c since I'm actually going to evaluate it in this step. So this is going to be negative 1 over 2 times x squared plus 3 from a to b. Okay, let's go ahead and take this towards the next step. This will be the limit as A approaches negative infinity and B approaches positive infinity. Of fundamental rule of calculus says that this becomes negative 1 over 2. I'm going to evaluate this at B. This will be B squared plus 3 minus negative or plus 1 over 2 times a squared plus 3. If I take the limit um, of this expression as a goes to negative infinity and b goes to positive infinity, um, I actually, in both of them, get an expression where my denominator is going to infinity while my, nu while my numerator is staying at 1. So these are both going to go to zero um, because the denominator is going to infinity so fast. So this entire integral is actually just equal to zero. And that is the end of the question. Thanks again for your question, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.